Mm -hmm. Katie, how's the weather here at home? Okay, so at the moment, the sun is literally rising as we speak, but there's so much fog that it's really skewing any hint of sunrise that you would hope to see. But storm scan, hey, you know, that's totally empty. Um, it's really hard to make out fog on a satellite, that said, but high pressure is our story today. We do stay dry, and eventually that sunshine is going to help scour out the cloud cover. Meanwhile, we've got a Category 1 storm system in Hurricane Gert right now. It's churning away, thankfully, still out to sea and staying out to sea. Thank you. Goodness. Meanwhile, there's another system getting its act together across the central plains. Very heavy thunderstorms working their way through parts of Kansas and Nebraska. That eventually moves our way toward week's end. But here is your first glimpse of what the visibility will be like for the upcoming solar eclipse. Now, of course, as we've been talking about, we're at about 75 to 80 uh, percent of the actual eclipse that we'll be able to see. But at the moment, the way it looks that it'll pan out, there's a system that's likely to be forming over the Midwest back to the central plains but it won't be here yet. So I expect at this point that Monday is going to stay clear for the most part, some pretty good viewing uh, visibility for us. So make sure that if you don't have your eclipse glasses, you go out and find a pair. We actually have our own government approved glasses. We're going to be handing out around the region through the week. So stay tuned for the details there. But in the meantime, you can't see squat outside. <laughs> if I didn't tell you where we were, you'd have no clue. I mean, it's completely skewed. The shot outside Topolhocken Junior Senior High School. Another view outside Kutztown. Again, if you didn't have the label, you'd never know it. <laughs> I mean, it's so, so poor and dense with that visibility. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Fog lights are a requirement in a lot of the countryside. Moving forward, we're going to keep it pretty toasty here, Misha, the next couple of days. More storms again arriving on Friday.